Hello and welcome to Statistics Online here at Kenyatta College. My name is Ray Lapus. In this video, we will do a homework problem from section 4.3. It says that the following data summarizes results from 1,008 pedestrian deaths that were caused by accidents. If one of the pedestrian deaths is randomly selected, find the probability that the pedestrian was intoxicated or the driver was intoxicated. Let's copy this onto a clipboard so we can paste it onto Google Sheets. In order to work with this table, it would be beneficial for us to know some more information, like maybe the total number of drivers that were intoxicated, and the total number of drivers that were not intoxicated. And we can also find the total number of pedestrians that were intoxicated and the total number of pedestrians that were not intoxicated. And then finally, we can find the total number of people or total number of accidents but we should already know that because they told us that there was 1,008. Let's take a look at the question again. The question is asking to find the probability that the pedestrian was intoxicated or the driver was intoxicated. So in this particular scenario, we want to find the probability that the driver was intoxicated. Let's say INTOX. Or the pedestrian was intoxicated. So according to the addition rule, what we're interested in doing to, to get this is to find just the probability when the driver was intoxicated and then add the probability where the pedestrian was intoxicated. Now there might be some overlap there, so we want to make sure we subtract out the probability when both the driver was intoxicated and the pedestrian was intoxicated. So let's figure out these probabilities. The probability that the driver was intoxicated, this is the driver being intoxicated out of 1008 the probability would be 6, 164 minus or divided by let's say that again the probability is going to be 164 divided by 1008 so this is the probability that if we select one of these accidents that the, that the driver was intoxicated now we want to know the probability where the pedestrian was intoxicated. So this will be the number of accidents where the pedestrians were intoxicated divided by the total number of accidents. Notice that if we were counting these numbers where the pedestrian was intoxicated and we were also counting these numbers where the driver was intoxicated, we are actually counting this number twice. And so this number divided by 1008 is going to be the probability that we select when both driver and pedestrians were intoxicated. So we have to account for this. We counted it twice so we want to subtract one out. 
So that would be 98 divided by 1008. And then we get that number. Finally, the addition rule says that we have to add the probability that we select a driver who's intoxicated plus the probability that we select with the pedestrians intoxicated. And remember that we counted this probability when both the driver and the pedestrian was intoxicated. So we subtract that out. It looks like our final probability, probability would be 0 0.4047. Let's check that. 0 0.4047. And we want to round off to three decimal places. So 7 is bigger than 5. So we would up this by 1. And we get 405. Okay, I hope that helps.